Jack Black, aka Jablinski, is set to take over YouTube. His first two videos earned over 2 million subscribers with less than 90 seconds of footage and got extraordinarily positive comments. So I thought it'd be fun to explore why Jack Black is so beloved, and after watching hours of footage, I believe it comes down to his absolute and total confidence in being himself. So in this video, we're going to explore five things that you can do to radiate serious confidence that makes other people take notice. The first thing that you see with Jack Black is just how comfortable he is in his own skin. Whereas other guests on talk shows try to portray themselves as more beautiful or cultured than they may be in their day-to-day -day life, Jack puts his own comfort at the top of his list of priorities. He often wears a simple t-shirt in his appearances, and even when he does dress up, he has no problem splaying out wherever he is sitting to make himself the most comfortable. Now this may look like a small detail, but it highlights a major point. Confident people don't spend too much effort managing other people's perceptions. Looking good, both physically and in terms of their reputation is only a nice to have because they already feel secure. Instead, they allow authenticity, self-amusement, and comfort to drive their behavior. And even though this slouching isn't your standard confident pose, it still sub-communicates that Jack feels good about himself, which encourages everyone around him to accept him as well. Our video on Chris Pratt goes even deeper into the point of self-amusement if that's something you're curious for more on. The second thing that Jack does that exudes confidence is to put himself in situations that call attention to his weaknesses or even situations where he is likely to fail. Fragile self-esteem demands that you are only ever seen to publicly succeed, but Jack is confident enough that he has no issue going all out in a basketball game, which isn't exactly his strong suit. Why are you dribbling so like the Miami Heat, the villains of the league, and we win! Go! Even in areas in which Jack excels, like music, he's comfortable allowing himself to become a bit of a joke, like here. The willingness to put yourself in a position where you may fail or be laughed at is a key to exuding deep confidence. It shows the people around you that your self-image is sturdy enough to withstand potential criticism. And for one last example, watch the way that Jack dances on Ellen. Now this certainly is an example of putting yourself in a position to fail or be laughed at, but it's also a great example of the third point, which Jack spells out here. I've just been watching the show backstage mm -hmm. and going, everyone has such good moves. Yeah. And I was feeling the pressure. I was like, I gotta bust out some moves on the way down there. Yeah. So I don't really have the moves. No, you do. But I thought I'd make up for it with just like commitment. This sentence is perhaps the most foundational piece of Jack's confidence and charisma. If he's going to do something, he does it with commitment. Now, commitment comes in many different forms, so it's worth taking a moment to explore what it looks like in different situations. For instance, when Jack tells a story, he demonstrates commitment by getting his hands and face involved in the telling. I, I believe that I developed this technique of burrito eating, where you take the burrito, bite off just the tip, drain it, let the chunks fall on top of a bed of chips to create nachos there. And then some dry chips, stuff them in the hole and fill this, you know, delicious burrito satchel with, with uh, crunchy chips. Mm. I love it. I just love a good crunch in a burrito. When he's talking about his music, he gets into the performance of a particular song. Battling, the three of them, and the battling in the rain. The world was completely insane. Sound the alarms, nuclear bombs. When Jack is making an entrance and he decides to go over the top, he goes way over the top, completely committing to the bit. And when he's cracking a joke like he did in his performance with the saxaboom on Jimmy Fallon, he knows that it all comes down to committing 100% to that performance. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, mother
Much of Jack's comedy is physical in nature, but you can commit verbally as well by elaborating on your jokes and not bailing on them if they don't hit immediately. One of our oldest videos actually highlights this difference between Will Smith and a young Jaden Smith, and I'm going to link to that below. But for now, just know that doing things in a way that demonstrates that you expect people to watch, listen, or laugh is half of the battle in getting them to enjoy doing those things in the first place. The fourth thing that shows Jack's confidence is how comfortable he is complimenting other people. There are plenty of examples, but here are just a few. You are a proper Elton John fan. I am. It, it's actually, from the beginning, I've been uh, uh, obsessed. I kind of wish I was Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> Who's sexier, The Rock or Nick Jonas? Uh, you can't, no, that's too hard. I, you can't. The Rock, obviously, you've got the musculature. You've got the powerful bearing. And Nick Jonas is just so darn cute. Notice that Jack goes over the top in these compliments. He doesn't feel the need to hold back because confident people don't need to worry that someone else might be elevated too far above them. And if this is tricky for you, forcing yourself to offer enthusiastic compliments when you do notice positive traits or talents can be a great first step to improving your own confidence. In getting used to complimenting others, you begin to realize that you don't need to hoard praise for yourself, so you're simultaneously demonstrating confidence and building it internally. Now, Jack is, of course, a comedian, which means that he will quote-unquote burn people from time to time. In the past, I've talked about avoiding sarcastic humor altogether, but Jack gets away with it because he almost always does these burns as a character. His YouTube video where he disses some of the biggest names on YouTube is obviously a performance since he confuses a million with a billion at the beginning of the video. And it means that his joking about PewDiePie and Will Smith can be taken in a lighthearted and non-offensive manner. My God. One week, one billion subscribers. That is more than PewDiePuss, T-Pains, and Will Sniff combined. Well, mission accomplished. Mic drop, peace out. Hmm? We only got a million subscribers? Fuuuuck. In this next clip, he plays an almost comically evil person who mocks his own diss to Kevin Hart even as he says it, and that signals that this isn't meant to be taken in a way that is upsetting. You are short! <laughs> <laughs> You're shorter than average! All right, okay. <laughs> Game time! When you combine points four and five, you realize that if you can make your praise surge from genuine appreciation and your insults from a playful and kind spirit, you are going to be perceived as more confident as well as more liked. And if you want to further develop your confidence and your charisma, you should definitely check out the sponsor for this week's video, Charisma University. That's right, we don't have a sponsor, it's just us. But Charisma University is awesome nonetheless. So if you're not familiar with it, it's a 30-day video program that we've created that shows you the exact steps that you need to dramatically boost your charisma. And for approximately 20 minutes each day, you listen or watch the program, and then you have one action to take that solidifies what you have learned and puts it into practice. The skills that you learn in the course are going to help you to feel more confident in situations that might have been uncomfortable before, like how to meet new people, how to have a fun social life, and how to form strong work relationships and be more successful in your professional life. Now, the progressive layout of the course is often the difference between dabbling and getting genuine transformation because it turns theory into something that you actually live. So with Charisma University, it's not something that you learn about and think, oh, that's interesting, but something that removes the hesitation and that response that you have when you freeze up and it helps you become your most confident and charismatic self in the situations where you need it the most. So if you would like to learn more about the course, hit the link in the description. I do hope that you decide to check it out because there is truly nothing to lose. We put a money back guarantee in place if you decide the course isn't for you. You literally just email us within 60 days of purchasing and you are covered. There are now over 3,500 Charisma University members who have joined at this point. We've gotten super positive feedback, so I do hope that you decide to join. Either way, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Also, welcome to YouTube Jablinski.